After more than 36 years in business, people have come up to me and said, Bob, what is the difference between your float products and everyone else's float products? And that's an excellent question. Common sense can be used. The first thing you want to think about is the pumps. When a person tells you that a giant pump is the best kind of pump, I have to wonder why they'd say that. They're trying to say that the solution will turn over faster, but what it's actually doing is pounding the solution so aggressively through the plumbing that it makes a lot of the salt go airborne. And these are the people that are going to have problems with their air conditioning system. They're going to have problems with their computer, with the, having all the salt building up on their computer boards and blowing out their phone in their own pocket. So having a bunch of salt that's airborne in your facility will chase off customers and make them say that they weren't comfortable in your facility. The circulator motor that Royal Spa uses is much more calm, much more quiet, much more energy efficient. So the air quality in the facility is much better with a Royal Spa product and the quietness of our pump is astronomically different. There are people that have to stage their starts of their floats because they can't have a pump running in the next room over. With a Royal Spa product, you can have the pump running in one room and a person floating quietly and completely comfortably in the next room over. Most products can't do that. When you think about the filtering systems on flotation tanks, the filtering systems of the European maids and all these guys telling you all about their special filters, you can't get those filters in a lot of cases. On top of that, not only can you not get the filter, but just trying to do maintenance on that filter spills solution. And when you have solution dripping from the lid and dumping out of the top of these filters all the time, you end up with a three foot hockey puck that's an inch and a quarter thick on the floor. The mess that is made is unbelievable. The pumps ingest that solution as it spills alongside of them and it takes out the stator and it takes out the bearings and the pump system. And then you're going to have your control system right next to that too. And the control systems really can't protect themselves very well against the saline solution. So now your control system is going out because you're dumping the filtered solution all over the place. By having the filter inside the unit like the pot or the open tank, you're dumping the solution accidentally back into the tank where it's fine and it won't hurt anything. And then the last thing that people ask me about is the control systems. I make a control system that works with your computer, works with your laptop, allows you to control everything. But when you really think about it, the only thing the control system is going to do is turn the circulator pump on and off. Because Mrs. Jones doesn't know when she wants the lights to work. She doesn't know when she wants the music to work. She's not even sure when she's going to hit the intercom button. So how could you ever ask her what you need to program into the computer? So having a timing system on the wall, like our clinical components have, you'd be able to walk up to the wall and say, Mrs. Jones, you've paid for a one hour float. I'm going to type 70 minutes into the timer and that when I push go, it gives you 10 minutes to shower and an hour to float. When the tank comes back on, that's your cue to get out, take a shower. With a computerized system, you can run six or eight or 10 units and you can always go to that later. So some people start out with a clinical unit when they're buying one and then they go to the computer control system when they buy multiple units. You have tons of control over the product and common sense should be used by you because that's how you stay in business. That's how you make money. That's how you're here years from now with a successful business.